was the first congressional hearing since the IRS scandal hit last week. In the hearing, Congress learned why IRS workers targeted conservative groups. According to former IRS Commissioner Steve Miller, the agency was bombarded with applications for tax-exempt status. So it came up with a shortcut using words including Tea Party and Patriot to ID groups. Miller says there was no political agenda in the targeting, but Republican lawmakers say he mis misled them. Joining us this morning to talk about the latest on these hearings from Washington is U.S. Representative Lloyd Dockett. Good morning. We're so happy to have you with us this morning. Very good to join you. I and was there on Friday you for that were, hearing. Because you sit on the House Committee on Ways and Means, and so again, you all were sitting in on this. Tell us, what was your big takeaway about from the hearing? Well, any time that uh, the Internal Revenue Service seems to be focusing on more on one leaning than another, it's improper. That's why uh, Mr. Miller is being removed from his job, and some others are. But equally important to his testimony was the testimony of the Inspector General of the, Inter of the IRS, mm -hmm. who's a career Republican. He found no indication of any White House or any political involvement in his audit and investigation. He found no evidence to justify the Republican claims that the Internal Revenue Service was corrupt or rotten at the core, as one of them said. Uh, and so the, the facts really don't match the claims that have been made, even though it is important to have oversight and assure that the IRS operates fairly. You know, there are a couple of bigger questions. One of them is, why is it that we would permit $250 million last year to be poured in tax-free into our election system. I think that the, the bigger uh, issue should be uh, how do we reduce what our, our social welfare organizations that we think of that we contribute to that do so much good, mm -hmm. some misusing that title in order to engage in tax-free political conduct. And, and that's not just one side. Right, I, I agree. I want to take a step backwards to you said some of the, the findings that came out because a lot of uh, different uh, people on both sides of the aisle say that this is, they're trying to make this a partisan issue. And we make no apologies. You are a Democrat. We do know that. People at home know that. But do you feel this is a partisan issue or partisan that partnership should come into play here? Well, I don't think it should come into play. I think we should all seek fair administration of our tax laws, but I think it has come into play. And some of the same people that are waving a red flag over this, uh, your uh, uh, sweater not uh, associated with that, <laughs> no, but whoever's wearing the red flag, waving the red flag here, uh, really, for example, would like to undermine the Affordable Care Act, which we're trying to implement this year. The Internal Revenue Service has a role in that, in identifying which families are able to get some government support to help mm -hmm. purchase private insurance. They don't want that to happen. They had the 37th vote this week to repeal what is called Obamacare. I think it will help many of our families. And so part of their agenda is directed on saying, well, the public cannot have any confidence in any governmental entity, mm -hmm. particularly the IRS. Some of them want to uh, alter our tax code to make more of the burden shifted onto working families. So right. they have a bigger agenda, as well as discrediting President Obama. And I think that larger agenda should be rejected, and we ought to focus on nonpartisan application of the tax laws. Okay. Okay, well, certainly more we are expected to come out of this report and out of these hearings, and we thank you for joining us this morning. We'll be looking forward to hearing more from that. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. Of course. Now, we want to point out that KVU News did reach out to Republican lawmakers in Central Texas to ask them to be on the program this morning and join us. They either did not respond or were unable to join us this morning. Coming up.